On Wednesday, the Biden administration pledged $1.85 billion in military aid to Ukraine, including funds for a Patriot missile battery. The White House announcement came only hours before Zelensky arrived at Joint Base Andrews, just outside the city, on his first known journey out of the country since February. The package comprises $1 billion in weapons and equipment from Pentagon stockpiles, including the Patriot battery for the first time, and $850 million in Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative financing. A portion of the UZI will be utilized to support a satellite communications system, which will most likely incorporate Elon Musk's critical SpaceX Starlink satellite network technology. As Russia continues its brutal attacks against critical infrastructure in Ukraine, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said in a statement, adding that the US will provide critical new and additional military capabilities to help Ukraine defend itself from Russia's ongoing brutal and unprovoked assault. Zelensky and other Ukrainian officials have asked Western governments to give more modern weapons, notably patriots, to aid their country in its fight against Russia. The Patriot missile system would be the most advanced surface-to-air missile system offered by the West to Ukraine to help withstand Russian air attacks. Two additional important items are also included in the box. The Pentagon will supply an unspecified quantity of Joint Direct Attack Munitions Kits to Ukraine. The kits will be used to alter enormous bombs by adding tail fins and precision navigation systems allowing them to be released and guided onto a target rather than merely being dropped from a fighter jet. The United States would also fund satellite communications terminals and services to shore up Ukraine's potential vulnerability. After Musk stated that his business could no longer afford to supply the services for free, the satellite support would serve as a buffer against Musk's promise to quit funding them. Elon Musk delivered the first Starlink terminals to Ukraine just days after Russia invaded in February, and by October, more than two. 200 of the low-orbiting satellites were supplying broadband internet to Ukraine. In October, he requested that the Pentagon cover the price of Starlink operations in Ukraine, and he tweeted that it cost SpaceX $20 million per month to handle the country's communications needs. According to John Ferrari, senior scholar and space expert at the American Enterprise Institute, the technology has been the game changer in allowing Ukraine's military and infrastructure to continue operating. While Musk's firm was not mentioned in the fundraising announcement on Wednesday, it would be difficult to add other technologies onto the battlefield because they often do not work well together. According to Ferrari, the decision to send the Patriot battery comes despite warnings from Russia's foreign ministry that delivering the advanced surface-to-air missile system would be viewed as a provocative move, and that the Patriot and any crews accompanying it would be a legitimate target for the Russian military. However, the White House is pushing back against the suggestion that the Patriot represents an increase in U.S. participation on Ukraine's behalf. According to a senior administration source who briefed reporters on the condition of anonymity, Biden has stated that his government will lean forward in backing Ukraine but will not engage in direct combat with Russia. Because US Marines would have to teach Ukrainian forces on how to use the high-tech system, it's unclear when the Patriot will arrive on the front lines in Ukraine. The training is likely to last several weeks and will take place at the Graf and Woe training facility in Germany. To far, all US and Western training of Ukrainian soldiers has taken place in European countries. More rockets for high mobility artillery rocket systems, or HIMARS, are also included in the aid package, as a 500 precision guided artillery rounds for howitzers. 30 mortar systems and 10,000 mortar rounds, 37 mine resistant ambush protected vehicles, 120 Humvees, 6 armor trucks, more than 2,700 grenade launches and other weapons, an unknown number of arm air to surface anti radiation missiles, K more anti personnel mines, demolition munitions and other equipment, and body armor. 
have more than 200,000 rounds of varied ammunition, satellite systems, and continuous training and maintenance will be funded by the Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative, which pays for longer-term acquisitions. This is the 28th time the Pentagon has taken weaponry off the shelf to fast transfer to Ukraine, with munitions often arriving within days to Europe and the fight. Since Russia initiated its invasion of Ukraine on February 24, 2022, the United States has contributed around $21.3 billion in military aid and weaponry. The support comes as Congress prepares to approve another $44.9 billion in Ukraine aid as part of a mammoth spending measure. This would assure that U.S. support will be maintained in the coming year and beyond, as Republicans take control of the House in January. Some Republican lawmakers have expressed reservations about the support. 